Hello everybody and welcome back to Rogue Tech, where we're ready to go out on another mission, but we're going to have to bring our beta lance of mech warriors to do that. But ultimately I think that's a good thing to do anyway, we need to get them started with their uh, training just in case, but maybe we should go for a bit of a milk run for them, one where we're really looking to primarily make some money. I mean, we, we don't, we're not too bad on money, really, but I'm just thinking, this is an urban battle. We'd likely get ambushed, but that's okay. I'm just thinking, this is a super simple mission, and the amount of salvage is pretty decent for a battle. So we may be able to just do something kind of like this, and run a bit of a milk run with some of our trainees here. Now we want to make sure that our stealth is piloted by someone with Bandit, as well probably as our Vulcan. And then our Panther is kind of useless anyway because I tend to have it so far back, and that's just kind of because it's slow and the ERPPC has a hard time closing that gap. Same with the Hunchback, honestly. Like, the Vulcan and the Stealth, I've been using them to kind of outrun the rest, and by the time the Hunchy and the Panther can be brought to bear, it's already kind of over. So that's something I need to address, for sure. But for right now, let's see what we get ambushed by this time, shall we? I mean, maybe it's like last time and they just drop an artillery on us and do five damage to our Hunchy and call it a day, but... I kind of hope it's not that, if I'm honest. But I guess we'll see. Some days you're the pigeon, other days you're the statue. Today is more of a statue day. That's always a good sign. <laughs> well, we'll see how that, uh, we'll see how accurate that is. So we need to destroy all enemy units. After a recent engagement, Merrick forces have captured a local government stronghold. This has left the bulk of the local government forces in the field with nowhere to withdraw to. We'd like you to engage those forces and destroy them in detail. The goal is to break their ability to take the field against us for the foreseeable future. That means none of their units should survive. Brutal, but undeniably effective. A cord mech isn't going to end up repaired and back in battle against you. Sounds like a lot of fighting, though. Be prepared. Well, hopefully I'm prepared. Let's see. Command interface initiated. Local government forces retreated to this area, Commander. Still not clear as to how many units are out there, but Meyer's keeping an eye out. Affirmative. If I spot him, I'll give you a holler. Okay. Well, we're going to get ambushed for sure. I can 100% guarantee this. Aye, aye. I'm going to take the stealth up over here. Moving out. Yep. Charge! Okay, that's a spider. That's just a spider. Receiving you. Hang on. How exactly did the spider How exactly did the spider torso twist that far? What is a torso twist on a spider now that I think about it? Maybe a spider can do that. But I was just thinking it's facing this way, it fired this way. That's a pretty hefty torso twist. Regardless, look at these hit odds. <laughs> no problem, bud. I got this. It's going to be probably slightly lower than that, yeah, as expected. But this spider is going to take a huge chunk of damage this turn. Here it comes. Taking a critical hit. Okay. Spider doesn't get to move until phase 18. Okay, we see a flea moving. The spider is going to move. Fired on the Vulcan, but it missed. That's fine. So we see a flea over here. We see a K. 
Cattle Master and a Mortar Technical. Waiting for orders. Hypothetically, can we get in behind this flea? We can't, but the Cattle Master appears to be facing away from us. We could potentially jump up here for four evasive pips. And hit this guy in the rear. This is potentially a kill shot right here. Yeah, it didn't happen. I'm not a hu I'm not hugely surprised by that. I'm also not hugely offended by that. Which way is this guy facing now? Okay, so this would be rear arc. We'll jump in rear arc. And this could very easily be a kill shot if we hit with that ERPPC. Okay. Okay. Engine core 240 crit. Nice. Okay, so we are going to sprint forward with the Hunchy, I believe. Actually, we're just going to move forward with the Hunchy. Because this is the only spot where we actually have LOS on the Cattle Master. Our hit odds are a bit low, but we will take these odds. We're hitting rear arc. Let's see how this goes. Probably poorly. Well, this looks bad for you. Yep. Did not hit a single one of those. Okay. Cattle Master moved away there. Noted. That Mortar Technical needs to die. Commander, I've got a Leopard inbound to your location. Guessing it's not friendly. They're going to drop right here. Okay. Standing by. So we're going to need to bring our Vulcan. Actually, we pretty much have to jump out of here. And I guess we'll position here to fire on the Mortar Technical. Our hit odds are kind of bad, and hopefully we don't backstab the Hunchy here. Affirmative. Hard to tell. Serious armor loss. Seriously. <laughs> we hit the Hunchy two out of three times there. That makes me really sad, actually. Okay, the stealth needs to jump over here, for sure. Do we go for the mortar technical here? Or do we go for the cattle master? It's a hard choice. But I feel like we go for the mortar technical. I mean, those are good hit, uh, or th those were good hits, but uh, we haven't destroyed it yet. So the Hunchy needs to get out of the hostile drop zone for sure. I'm on him. Okay, that's the technical gone. Now I'm a little concerned about the Hunchy's rear armor now. That is a long range heavy flamer. Okay, they missed. So that's all good. Orders. Now we're going to get our panther down over Stop. here to help deal with the drop pods. There they are. Commander, I have eyes on a local government lance headed your way. We were warned there might be multiple enemy lances out here. Take them out, Commander. So what do we got here? We've got an Irby. We've got a Jed. We've got a Spider. Okay. And of course, there's the flea over there and the cattle master. Waiting for orders. Which way are they facing? They're all facing that direction. Light rifle, light rifle. Small laser, AC-10. And dual medium pulse lasers on that spider. Okay. We're going to come straight in with the Vulcan over here. Although, I think we're going to be backed off... An offset ever so slightly although maybe like up here actually if we're gonna go for the Irby this would be the ideal location 
Mission confirmed. And so we shall. Just checking these hit odds. Okay. Could you please stop stray shotting the hunchy, please? Thank you. Okay, AC-10 ammo explosion. That was super lucky. And yes, I do realize that the reason we're stray shotting the hunchy is because my positioning is slightly off. But... This guy's going to move phase 15. He's going to fire on nothing. Standing by. That is really solid. We're going to move up over here with the panther. We're going to go after the Jed's rear armor. We could, in theory, destroy the Jed here, but the odds are pretty low. Yeah. I didn't expect it. Okay, still no damage to the hunchy there. Which means that we do get to move the hunchy right now. Good to go. Actually, we get to move the stealth right now. And we're just going to come in directly behind the cattle master. Coordinates received. The stealth's mission here, eliminate this cattle master. Okay, it's not quite dead, but it took a lot of damage there. Very close. We could move the hunchy over there, or we could simply move it over this way. Either way we slice it, we're going to be exposing our rear weak armor, unless we were to move over here. And I think that's our best bet. And we're going to go for the Jed here. I mean, we could, in theory, kill it. We'll have to see what happens. Our hit odds are pretty decent, though. Okay, damage was too spread. Another hostile leopard inbound, Commander, marking its destination. Now, see, this is more like it. <laughs> Waiting on you, Commander. Okay, our stealth is going to finish the Cattle Master. Once and for all. There we go. Cattle Master is down. So they're going to move this spider right now. Came in behind the hunchy and meleeed. Armor blow through. Internal damage. And it happened to melee right there. Okay. Orders. So the front armor on the Jed is currently quite weak. We'll come in like this with the Vulcan and look to finish off this Jed. Excellent. There we go. Enemy vehicle destroyed. The flea moves in. Fires on the hunchy. Uh, I took a hit in the meat. Yeah, of course you did. You. Okay, the panther is going to move in and see about hitting that flea. That was really solid, actually. Very nice. Confirmed. Can the hunchy get around the spider? No. The best we can do is get here. You got it. Which I'll accept for now. This would overheat us, of course. <laughs> we missed everything. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, so there's another local government lance over here. Is that only two drop pods? No, I think that's three drop pods. Okay. Yes, Commander. So we're going to take the Vulcan directly behind the spider. Like so. And we're going to light up this spider. I copy. Well, that could have been better, but it also could have been far worse. I hear ya. We're going to drop the stealth right behind their spider. No sweat. Or rather, not the spider, their flea. And this is probably a kill shot on this flea. Six armor in that center torso rear. Is that actually a kill? 
That's not actually a kill. It's incredibly close. And I think, based on stray shot potential, we're much better off to go for the kill on the flea. This is a slight chance of overheat. I think we're just going to fire the PPC here. Excellent. Okay, so there's one lance down. Next, to take out the spider. Our hit odds are not amazing here. This would give a chance of ammo explosion, so we will avoid firing two medium lasers. Here we go. We actually did get a fair number of hits there. I'm actually surprised. We'll see what the spider does here. It's thinking. Okay. Moved over and meleeed the panther. I am very okay with this. It's actually kind of ideal, now that I think about it, because Ready to get it on. that opens up multiple opportunities to go after the spider. Now, the Vulcan can only get over here, and I'm not sure there's really much of a point in jumping. We're just going to sprint over to here and light this guy up. This is kind of strong side, but also kind of weak side. Okay. That did a decent chunk of damage, but what we were really doing there was softening it up for the stealth getting in behind it. It did get to move immediately again, and it melee the hunchy. And then knocked itself down. Or no, we got knocked down. Wait, both got knocked down? Both got knocked down. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll come up here with the panther. And I think we'll just fire the SRMs here. And... How much armor is in that? Okay. I think we'll go for this leg. Okay, we took out a jump jet. That's fine. We're going to get in with the stealth, and we're going for the kill shot here. Right in that CT. 70 HP there. We should have plenty of damage to take that down. Fantastic. Okay. One lance left, and we don't really know what's in that lance. We're going to stand up with the hunchy. How much HP do we have left on coach? Two pips? Okay. We're just going to brace and sink heat. Excellent. So we're going to move up over this way, and we're not going to move too quickly right now. I mostly want to get eyes on what they've got. And sink heat. Okay, they've got a wasp. A wasp isn't that scary. What else do they have, though? That's the question. I mean, we could get the stealth up over here and get eyes on. Maybe take a couple of pot shots. We'll fire the lasers and the streak SRM. Did a little damage there. Get the Vulcan perhaps up on a building up here. Just take some large pulse laser pot shots. Did 17 damage. We'll take that. The wasp moved up over there. Okay. So we can start sprinting the panther up over this way, as well as the hunchy. See if they can get caught up with our more mobile mechs. 
Okay, that's a fair amount of LRMs, but it's fired indirectly. They missed. We'll jump the Vulcan over here. Our hit odds are very low on this wasp, but we'll take the chance. Yeah, nothing happened. That's fine. Okay, we're going to close in with the stealth as well. I did not sprint there, and I did that on purpose. So I'm hoping for some slightly better hit odds here. Emphasis on the slightly, apparently, although... That did decent. The wasp is going to close in and melee us. And it actually meleeed us in the head. That was rude. Okay, can we get this panther anywhere useful? That's a negative. Okay, we'll just come up here and sit for right now. And I imagine we can't get anywhere too useful with the hunchy either. We'll just get up over here. We still don't see the en the other enemies. But they've definitely got missiles. But the wasp managed to make itself super exposed here. So we're going to move right here. And that did actually see us a PPC weapons carrier. Okay, that's a little spooky. Well, let's light this guy up. Okay. And that is a dead wasp. 100% the moment we move our stealth. What's up, boss? We'll put our panther up over here for right now. Okay. Not too concerned about those LRMs. Orders. Get up here. Double tap. Let's go. Okay. Good to go. Now it is time to murder this wasp. It is definitely going to die here. There we go. Mech destroyed. Excellent. So we see that they've got a hunter light support tank and a PPC weapons carrier over there. And because of the PPC weapons carrier, we are going to approach with a bit of cover here. Waiting for orders. Affirmative. So we're going to do something like that with these guys. Ready for orders. Our panther is going to see about making its way into this cover. On the move. That's ideal. There we go. And we'll see what they do here. Continuing to fire missiles, although that was fewer missiles. And we will approach over this way with the hunchy. Sounds good. Got something you want done? Yes, I want that weapons carrier dead. Although you can actually go on the hunter tank oh from here. Do it. Taking the shot. Wasn't ideal, but we did a little damage there. Uh, just come on up here, I think. Yeah. Park there. With four evasive pips, the weapons carrier will have to come around here to bring its PPCs to bear. Go ahead and fire on this guy. Those are decent odds. Okay. Sounds good. We're going to approach a little with the hunchy. And then the panther is just going to be right up over here. Hit odds on the PPC are very low at this range, but we'll give it a go. Yeah, didn't expect anything. So now, we will see what that PPC carrier does. Okay. That's fine. Our turn now. We're going to close in 
up over here with our Vulcan. And we're looking to eliminate this hunter. Okay, perfect. Reporting. Vehicle destroyed. Waiting for and now we will just come in with the stealth. And is this obstructed LOS or rear LOS? This is obstructed. Okay. Uh, if we were to jump, we could rear arc this PPC weapons carrier. Like this. Yeah. And this is probably a dead PPC weapons carrier. Okay, we didn't quite get the hits we were looking for there. We're going to sprint in with our hunchy. Copy that. And see if we can't hit some of these uh, weak armor points. I got you. That was really solid, actually. Okay. That was grueling. Commander, we'll debrief back in orbit. Mission successful. It wasn't too bad. I mean, the numbers were there, but they didn't really have the weight to deal with us. They needed a couple of medium mechs to really uh, start tearing into us. But I suppose that's what we get when we're doing a half skull mission. <laughs> So the Hunchy took a little damage, we took a little armor damage here and there. Honestly, we did more damage to ourselves than they did to us. Uh, let's see here, there's some mortar options. There's a mediocre engine core here that we could grab. A lot of heat sinks. Some basic sensors, those aren't really worth anything. I suppose we could grab the standard fusion engines just for selling them. But if we're going to do that, we may as well grab the uh, lower engine cores, right? Yeah. So we'll just grab these engine cores and call that good. And in fact, I'm just going to go ahead and sell those two immediately. We'll keep around the engine core 175. That should be fine, and we should not have too much in terms of repair time and cost. Yang should have that done pretty quickly, although not quickly enough for the financial report, because that's tomorrow. So we'll see just how much this costs. However, it is pretty much time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time when we'll finish up these repairs for 17,000 C-bills in seven days. <laughs>